Hey guys, how's it going? So, another week, another mobile suit, and this week we got the Delta Gundam. I don't understand which one came first. Uh, I think it was the uh, Hyakushiki, and then they tried to make the Gundam version, but it never happened, or I, I can't remember which one. Um, I remember people were talking about that last night, but I do know this thing was a Phantom unit and was never manufactured. But unlike the Yakushiki, the gold uh, coating on it is uh, definitely um, actually useful. So uh, definitely not just for show. Gold coating with that agent I. And uh, yeah, um, pretty much it's kind of cool. Hopefully this comes to everything that has the gold coating. Uh, the full armor Yakushiki, uh, the... Um, well, Hyakushiki, of course, and I i guess the Zero never had the actual gold coating on it, so maybe not. Maybe they're not that one. But anything that has the gold coating, hopefully it gets this beam resist coating. Which essentially means if it's above 50% health, um, it takes 25% less damage and resist stun. I don't know if it resists like, uh, like build up stun as well, but that would be also really cool. There are a couple of beams that build up pretty well, even at that cost. Uh, specifically one that I was kind of thinking of, which is actually 50 higher, was the Ribawu, but it doesn't have to worry about that since it's at 600. Uh, so yeah, this is a 600 support, which is really interesting, considering I figured the different version of this suit would be a general. Though, the Delta Plus seemed very shooty in its playstyle, and this has certainly a decent bit of weapons to kind of fit there um, and kind of plays almost like a C1 or a unit or sorry GP04 at this cost so overall kind of cool let's check out the video see what it could do and then we've actually got some screenshots from uh, dual calamity that was posted on reddit that we'll look at and this time I'll actually have it on screen there's the downswing, pretty nice. Full charge beam maybe, or maybe just a shot, single shot. Um, then it has uh, the little burst fire you saw there, and then it can transform and do stuff. Now, uh, one claim that I saw, which I haven't seen anybody do yet, but apparently it's flying mode might have a dodge roll. I was kind of hoping we'd see that in the video, um, but yeah. Apparently that might be a thing. So let's go ahead and look in the screenshots and see if there's a skill uh, that actually the evasion for when it's in flying mode. Main thing here, the beam rifle is 2,300 damage uh, with 5.5 second cooldown. So it's just a instant stun, three shots. Um, here we go. We have the beam saber that it has 2,500 damage pretty nice and we saw it's downswing being just one swing now we'll go ahead and go over the stats while we're on this screen i guess just just so i don't forget but 14,000 health which is one of the biggest problems with this suit because 600 wow i think this might be the lowest health thing at 600 other than what might be lower is the gpo2 the main difference is the gpo shield is massive so, yeah, anything with a heavy attack, almost one shots the GPO2. Good thing is this thing can fly and it has a lot of other bells and whistles. Now, it does have a shield, yes, but the shield isn't big and not in a particularly good spot for use. So, there's that problem. Ballistic fire can do a lot to this thing. Um, you have melee, which luckily it has a decent bit of melee resist at 20. Ballistic 15 and beam 31. Honestly, with the beam coating, I was expecting a bit more from this, but is this the support tax and they're trying out this skill? Like, uh, it's also two star, by the way. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it, it seems a little odd. Now, very balanced range and melee strength here with 40 and 30. So it's got a lot of damage to throw around, which is very nice. Um, 120 movement, 195 top speed, and thruster gauge being 65 and 66 is very nice with the thruster gauge so you can fly around a bit 13 16 and 16 for its part slots and overall it just has a decent solid 
damage kit with very low health, which is frightening. Um, so let's go ahead and move on. We'll look at this little rapid fire beam version. 24 shots, 1.5 second cooldown, so that looks like the burst. Um, couldn't tell in the video if that was a stun or not, but there we go. Next, we have... Um, for suppression, okay, cool. Uh, so I guess it does have a build up at some point. Hopefully that's about two shots. Uh, head Vulcans, I mean, they, they, you know, 80, unless they have a build up stun, they're garbage. If they do build up stun and decently, then awesome, but I'm I'm pressing X to doubt. Um, if you do know that they have a good build up stun, let me know in the comments down below. But here we go, the two beams, so that should be 2000 damage, 80% heat rate, uh, instant stun, six second cooldown. So that's pretty good. You're pretty much, you're using that on cooldown. Probably we'll get close to not overheating it, but yeah. Then, um, let's see, large shield, 3,500 health. Might want to put a little bit of a health part because you're flying suit with this and that could really hurt. But here we go, here's the numbers, 25% and reduces reactions. And this is while you're above 50% health. So that's pretty nice. Oh, also the anti-beam and anti-beam armor is reduced to zero. Oh wait, sorry, when a, uh, HP falls below. Okay, never mind. Um, let's see. Maybe it's, um, I don't know if there's actually a bar, but, um, yeah. There's also anti-beam armor that reduces to zero at the same time. So I don't know what that is. Um, but it's kind of interesting. I've been seeing what, every time I hit them, I don't know if I'm blowing the shield up, but it seems like they kind of explode a little bit, which is really weird. Um, it does not, by default, have evasion system, but we have a high-performance radar, observational data link, parallel processing device, high-performance aerospace gimbal, flight uh, control program, glide structure three, um let's see high performance balancer that's really nice force injector two that is amazing let's go shield tackle melee combo controller uh so it does have two melees let's go transform flight and wing cushion level two now let's see the flight skills it does gain a dodge roll while you're flying there it is evasion system that is big ram attack really nice and the anti-beam coating so you can't get stunned in the air from just a insta stun with beams which is fantastic lots of beams at this cost great that this has that then looks like this beam rifle since it's highlighted is a different one or should be on a different ammo set here um, though it is the same so it could be the same one so careful about that but uh, if it is on a different set because it is in this screen now that i'm thinking about it maybe I can't remember because they're on the shortcuts so it might actually be the normal one i'm gonna actually say it's probably the normal one just assuming uh 2300 uh, moving on to the next one that's here's the damage numbers 350 1.5 that seems to be the same let me know if these are different separate weapons or the same ones if they're separate 10 out of 10 if they're the same that's support tax and also two star tax now that for sure is separate which is really awesome Nice little machine gun beam there that you can do. 18% heat rate. Really cool stuff. And it's times two. So that should be 1,200 at just a machine gun beam. 10 out of 10. Let's go. Um, so yeah, hopefully they have a good stun value on that as well. Uh, sadly, just melee priority one. But yeah, pretty good stuff looking here at this. Especially if these are separate weapons. Now that obviously is. But if these two are, amazing. Let's go. If it's not, pretty weak sauce, I have to say. Um, overall though, uh, mainly the health thing is a big deal. Flying dodge roll is really cool. And just the uh, overall like damage that this thing can do seems to be pretty solid. Now, personally, I spun once. I'm probably only gonna spin once or twice. Luckily, I've got a flying support. It feels pretty good. I'm gonna stick with the C1 most likely. Do I think this is like changing the game at all for supports? Probably not. Is this a solid support? Probably. 
it's most likely going to be like the Delta Plus at its base cost for raids. It's good, it's probably not bad, and there it is. Now the one thing that could hold this back is its health value. That, and why do I say that? Because there are some ranged type raids, and if you run into one of those, you're just done. So there's that. Generals will still kill you pretty quick. There's actually some good range type generals that can do some stuff too, and you're very prone to getting poked down. Um, I was decimating the ones as a support player. So if you see this as a support, this is a valid target for you to target. If it's just right there ready to hit, you're going to do some good damage. Yes, the beam coating does help it, but it's nowhere near enough with that low health. Just saying. Um, so it's definitely going to need a health buff in the future. I will bet money that this gets a health buff. For real, I would bet anybody some money that this would get a health buff. Like, one, two months down the road, we're, this thing is going to get a health buff. Because that's going to be its problem. I can already see it. Because right now, it just seems pretty average. Nothing too crazy. Nothing, like, the good part is, is its damage seems good. The bad part is, it seems to be glass. So, and I don't think it's canon enough to be up there with some of the top damage cannons that already exist. So, there's that. But, we'll see. I would be glad to be wrong because I am a support main and yeah, this would be another support that I could pick up down the road, hopefully. But for now, anniversary's coming up. I'm gonna sleep on this banner. I tried once today, failed, and maybe one more by the end of the week if I'm feeling froggy, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this suit. Other than that, we have the Char, or sorry, Quattro stuff back in the, uh, rotation as well for the 10 spin banner reward then we have the delta plus level two coming in um again kind of my thoughts earlier about it but at the same time it was pretty cool so now that you can get the level one or level two on a banner if you are a raid main instead of a support player so if you didn't get it there's another chance though i would warn we have anniversary coming up don't get baited uh, then we have the, let's see, where is it at? Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Back to the normal stuff. Uh, recycled ticket shop. I don't know why I thought there was something else, but my brain was going there. We have the Schneid, the Afri Schneid. Definitely getting the level one myself. Level two, not too sure on, but it is a insane general, especially after they fixed its melee hitbox. Um, overall, really good general, great for dealing with any kind of um, raid and even tanky supports like you know I was trying to play the uh, Faz uh, last night and yeah pretty pretty scary uh, overall though Schneid going for the level one for sure picking that up uh, hopefully I remember to do that before I turn the PlayStation off after doing this video Zeta plus a1 is also level three in the ticket shop sadly even though I think it's really awesome now with the buffs. I don't know, level 3 might be pushing it a little bit. But if you need a good raid, I personally think it's really solid even at that cost. And then we have the GPL-1 FB level 4 coming in. And yeah, if you like the FB, it's still the FB. Though I think there has definitely been a lot of power creep on this suit. It was the best space suit back in the day. If you don't have the level one, I'm pretty sure the level one's in the DP store, go get the level one and have fun with that. Uh, other than that, in the DP store, we have the G lines at level four hitting the DP store and the level one and two of both Zeku Ainz type two and three. Great suits, very fun to play. Now, definitely not the best suits at their base cost, but two stars, hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that please, that these are actually able to be bought with a low rank needed to buy them. Surely they are. I'm not gonna look because I don't wanna tilt myself, but hopefully, yeah, I've, I've ranted on that enough. But anyway, moving on to the clan rank. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, this one I believe is another, or are we going into 113, 112? Uh, 112 is gonna be the first top 10 uh, with the Mermaid A Green coming in as the emblem that you can get for getting in the top 10. 
Um, haven't seen this suit in the wild yet, but we did go over the stats. Hopefully it works pretty well. And with its missiles, the buildup is good. And sadly, I have to say what was on the comment of the last video, it's heat rod might only be just a normal stun, which is very disappointing, but you can set up for your elbow lean if you're that close. So if you get in there with the norm or at the buildup stun from the sub rock, then you heat rod, then you melee, you might be able to do that. Sadly with a normal stun though, if they still have a dodge roll, that's pretty rip. Hopefully the other missiles can stun in some way to let your sub rock then deal with their dodge roll to then be able to stun them with a heat rod and then do some combo like that, especially since this thing's at 400. Please let me know for sure if you've gotten the suit or if you have seen it, that it is a um, heavy stun or just a normal stun with the heat rod. Let me know in the comments down below, please. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know anything and all thoughts in the comments down below. Delta Gundam, pretty cool. Hopefully not bad. I would say it's probably decent. And if it ends up being really good, please let me know in the comments down below because right now, um, either way, honestly, I'm probably gonna sleep on it because anniversary is coming up, but it's really annoying when they come out with something good right before anniversary, especially supports or, well, I mean, it really it's for anybody that's, if they come out with your main before anniversary, understandable, that sucks. But anyway, guys, That'll be it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Usual stuff in the description below. Twitch, Twitter, Discord. But anyway, guys, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.